Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Exodus chapter 6. This is the Amplified Version. God promises action. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh. For under compulsion, he will not only let them go, but under compulsion, he will drive them out of his land. Then God spoke further to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, Israel, as God Almighty, El Shaddai. But by my name, Lord, I did not make myself known to them in acts and great miracles. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land in which they lived as strangers, temporarily residents, foreigners. And I have also heard the groaning of the sons of Israel, whom the Egyptians have enslaved. And I have faithfully remembered my covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Therefore, say to the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will free you from their bondage. I will redeem and rescue you with an outstretched, vigorous, powerful arm, and with great acts of judgment against Egypt. Then I will take you for my people, and I will be your God. And you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who redeemed you and brought you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will bring you to the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel, and I will give it to you as a possession. I am the Lord. You have the promise of my changeless omnipotence and faithfulness. Moses told this to the Israelites, but they did not listen to him because of their impatience and despondency and because of their forced labor. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, Go tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the children of Israel go out of his land. But Moses said to the Lord, Look, my own people, the Israelites have not listened to me. So how then will Pharaoh listen to me? For I am unskilled and inept in speech. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them a command concerning the Israelites and Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. The heads of Israel. These are the heads of their father's households, the sons of Reuben, Israel's Jacob's firstborn, Hanak and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. These are the families of Reuben, the sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite woman. These are the families of Simeon. These are the names of the sons of Levi, according to their births, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. And Levi lived 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimei, by their families. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Moses' father, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel. And Kohath lived 130 years. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushai. These are the families of Levi, according to their generations. Amram married his father's sister, Jochebed, and she gave birth to Aaron and Moses. And Amram lived 137 years. The sons of Izhar, Korah, Nepheg, and Zikri. The sons of Uziel, Mishael, Elzaphan, and Sithri. Aaron married Elisheba, the daughter of Amenadab, and the sister of Nashon. And she gave birth to Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. The sons of Korah, Asir, Elkina, and Abiasaph. These are the extended families of the Korahites. Eliezer, Aaron's son, married one of the daughters of Putiel, and she gave birth to Phinehas. These are the heads of the father's households of the Levites by their families. These are the same Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Bring the children out of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies. They were the ones who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, about bringing the Israelites out of Egypt. These are the same Moses and Aaron. Now it happened on the day when the Lord spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt, that he said, I am the Lord. Tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, everything that I say to you. But Moses said, Before the Lord, 
Look, I am unskilled and inept in speech. How then will Pharaoh listen to me and pay attention to what I say? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.